Quite a few times uh, people tell me that I'm supposed to be more um, soft and nice and that they say that, Church, don't you know that in the Bible Jesus says that they will know us by our light? And I don't really see that in the Bible, but let's pretend that is what Jesus said. Let's pretend that Jesus said, listen, future Christians, don't forget that the world should know you by your light. Uh, well, the the light of God in Revelations is also what destroys the nations. The Bible in Revelations used the term light to reference God's holiness and God's truth. And God has an almighty warrior angel called Michael that does a lot of God's um, um, battling. You know, so when you say, church, that you're supposed to be nice, you're supposed to not judge. You're supposed to show them your light. Well, it depends on who I'm talking to. Don't is it? Isn't it true that the thief runs away from the lights at night when he's robbing someone? Isn't it true that a lot of bacteria cannot survive in the in the UV, in UVA and UVB light? Isn't it true that it was the light of God and the holiness of God that pushed out Satan from the the heavenly kingdom? You know, so. When, when you tell me that you know I'm wrong because I, I rather expose evil, you know I don't think people read the Bible. So let me tell you about this this situation here. So if if I go over to a Christian home and a Christian family, and they know their Bible, if I say to them out loud, "Drunkenness is evil and should be avoided," they would say, "Yes, Amen." If I say prostitution and only fans is disgusting and evil and should be illegal, they say, yes, amen, right? So no matter what I say to Christians, if they know their Bible, they're going to agree. Marijuana is evil. It's called sorcery, the use of drugs in the Bible. So a Christian who knows their word of God, they'll say, amen. Drunkenness and, and porn, uh, pornography is, should be illegal. They'll say, amen, right? So that's also the light of God. The light of God is the truth and wisdom of God. Not my wisdom, not, not my truth. It's my God's truth that we're supposed to represent. And you know what? You will hurt feelings if they are a thief. If they are a thief, they don't, they don't want to hear the light of God. They want to hear their version of the word light of God. They want to be able to force you as a Christian to make them comfortable with the Word of God. But we're called to express and to teach the actual whole Word of God, the wisdom of God, the light of God. So if I go into a, a home and and, and I'm, a, I'm a guest there and I, I pull the, the, the man off to the side and I say, look, your, your, your son is, is smoking marijuana, you know, and you should really, you should really take care of that because that can be a problem. According to the word of God, that could be a serious problem. If he gets mad at me, something's wrong, right? So if, if I have nephews who are, you know, popping pills and smoking weed, and I look around and no one is saying anything, but the Holy Spirit tells me to be a voice of the truth, which is the wisdom of God, which is that he should not be smoking marijuana and that it's the parents' fault. That's not evil. Listen, if your kid starts smoking weed at 15, 14 years old, that's your fault. Oh, he went and got it somewhere else. Maybe. But there's a ton of things you can do. You have the power over your children. And the truth is, a lot of you parents are lazy with your kids. You never wanted kids. And now that you become pregnant or you heard she's pregnant, now you feel like you're obligated. You, you feel like you're forced to be a good parent, but you can't because you never cared about your parents. You wouldn't, I mean, uh, about your kids. You would not believe how many people I know hate being a parent it shows if you give your child a, a laptop and say go go get out of here you don't care about your children that's the truth and see it's the stuff that i just said that makes people so nervous that's biblical knowledge listen if i have a child i owe my life and teaching 
to that child for a very long time and I need to teach that child 100% truth and I need to watch my child all the time. And if that child's watching pornography in my home, it's my responsibility. Yeah, turn off the internet, you know. So we have so many problems in Christianity, it, it blows my mind. Let your light shine, Tertia. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let God's light shine. I'm not gonna, let, I don't have a light of my own other than the fact that the blood of Christ was shed in Calvary. That's the blood. That's the light that I have. I got this sun in my face, you know, and I can, I can bear the light of the sun for a while. Okay, but I can't be out here too long in this light. I have to recluse. And that is symbology for what's going on in our nation today. That's symbology symbolism that people have a problem with the light for a certain amount of time depending on how serious that light is oh church is going to talk about uh, how i was at the ballroom drunk last night he seen me he seen me in town so what brother so what brother if i come to you and say look be a dignified man be a be a strong dignified man of god and stop going on in them ballrooms you want me to believe that what I said was evil? That is insane. What I said was righteous and righteous judgment. You know what my sister told me when I told her that um, her boys shouldn't be smoking marijuana? You know what she said? She said, you used to. Okay. Well, let's go with that logic. If you're okay with what your kids do because I did it, I also quit smoking marijuana. So when are you going to influence the quitting? You see, we have a lot of problems out there, a whole lot of problems. And what I'm seeing at my age, 41 years old, that's right, feeling good too, praise God. What I see is lack of discipline and lack of consequence being reinforced by the elderly and by parents. We're letting people, kids get away with everything. Do you know that, that some of these people out here carrying guns for no reason? That's a whole nother subject out here. Listen, one thing you can know about me is right here. You're not going to fool me. You're not going to fool me. I'm going to always tell you the things of God. If you're on the left side of God, I'm going to warn you about God's wrath. If you're on the right side of, of God, congratulations. I'm going to talk to you about his blessing that, that he has for you. But if you're a rebellious person hiding from the light and you're going to try to fool me to tell me that I'm wrong, that I need to be more nice, that's not going to work because nothing I just said was wrong.